the Scottish education system, which used to be regarded as probably the best in Britain, is now the worst. You've said that you want to be judged on education, on, so on that basis, shouldn't you resign? I want to be judged on this. Now, that's a challenge, but it is one in which I and my government is determined to show leadership. Under the SNP, things have got worse and quite but dramatically. I, 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 Do you know what is going wrong in Scottish schools? The internationally exactly. recognised PISA but, rankings, Scotland recorded its worst ever absolutely. results and last year for reading, maths and science. And we've been for 10 years. Which is why I'm proud of the fact that we've got £1.5 billion pounds worth of cuts, 4,000 fewer teachers, 1,000 fewer support staff and a widening gap between the richest and the poorest kids. That's your record, well, that's 10 years of yes, SNP. Five years ago you said that the attainment gap had to be closed and the attainment <clears> gap <throat> is even higher than it used to be. If you're a poor kid in Scotland, you know, I've got a less of a chance of going to university than a poor kid in England. And historically, that's never happened before. The First Minister said we should judge her on a record on education. The OECD report into Scottish education has been delayed until after the May elections. But that can't be done if such an important report is hidden from the voters at the election. Closing the attainment gap, opening up opportunity for every child. That's the number one priority of our government. How many more times do we have to listen to the same lines about how education is your government's number one priority when the actual evidence shows your record is one of continuing failure?